Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater, and today I'm going to walk you through a few of the resources you can use to complete your research assignment for this class. Each of you will be assigned a specific retailer, and you will need to find information on that retailer's target market, locations, what they sell, and sales and net profit data for the last three years. Finally, you will need to find information on how the retailer handles one of the following. Customer relationship management, merchandising, service, visual merchandising, or online operations. You only have nine to 10 minutes to present your findings to your classmates, so make sure you don't try to include a lot of extra information. Stick to what your professor has outlined in your syllabus. In order to find this information, you will need to use a variety of sources. In this video, I'll walk you through how to navigate a few of the sources that will be most useful to you. Most of these sources will be available through the library's website. Additionally, they are linked from your course research guide. I will show you how to access this guide at the end of the video. It's important that you rely on these sources rather than just attempting to find everything through Google. You will find much more reliable information in library databases. Your professor will know whether or not you are using good information, and if you fail to do so, you may be asked to redo your work or your grade will be lowered. It's also important that you start your research early, as it will take you some time to find everything you need. Let's start with the information you will need for the second slide of your presentation. First, you need to discuss the retailer's target market. This can be a little tricky to find. You probably won't see anything that says explicitly who the retailer's target market is, so you'll have to make some judgments based on what you see on the retailer's website and in their annual report. Photos are a great way to infer who the retailer is targeting. What is the age of the individuals in the photos? Do you see a lot of minorities? You can also look at the retailer's annual report, which will often have additional photos as well as narrative about the business. If the retailer's website and annual report aren't quite giving you what you need, try searching for newspaper articles using a few of the library databases that I'll mention at the end of this video. Your second slide will also need to include information on the retailer's locations. About how many locations does the retailer have? Where do their stores tend to be located? Approach this second question generally. You don't need to list every single location. Instead, talk about it if they are located in one specific region of the U.S., or if they tend to be located in large cities, or if they are located in several countries. You can usually find this information on the retailer's homepage. Finally, you'll need to find information on merchandise. The retailer's website is usually a great way to determine what the retailer sells in general. If you come across additional information in other sources, you can include that as well. For your third slide, you will need to find financial data for your retailer. This will be easy to find if you have been assigned a public company because they are required to release their financial statements to the SEC. However, private companies are not required to do so, and finding this information may involve a bit more digging. For public companies, go to the retailer's website and look for a link at the bottom of the page that says Investor Relations or Investor Information. Here you will find a variety of financial reports. You will want to locate the 10Q reports for the most recent three years. This will include information on their net sales and net profit margin. I'll illustrate how to find these in just a moment. For private companies, you probably won't find an investor relations page because these companies don't have investors. You may be able to unveil some financial data on the website, but probably not very much. Your best option for finding this information is to use a database called Privco, which includes company information and financial statements for many private companies. I'll demonstrate this database in just a moment. If you can't find the information you need on Privco, try searching for newspaper articles that discuss the company's financial health. Are profits increasing? Are they opening or closing stores? At the end of this video, I'll give you a list of databases you can use to search for newspaper articles. Let's take a look at the website for K Jewelers. As we take a look at the main website for K Jewelers, we can see that they primarily just have photos of their products which means I will be able to find plenty of information on the merchandising part of the assignment. However, I don't really see any pictures of customers, so I'll have to take a look at their annual report. 
Before I do that, note the Find a Store link up at the top of the page. This is a great way for me to find location information on K Jewelers. To determine the larger target market and find financial information, we'll have to go to the Investor Relations page. So for that, we'll need to go all the way to the bottom of the web page and click Investor Relations under Our Company. Clicking this link will take us to a different website. Note that rather than K Jewelers, the site is for Signet Jewelers. This means that Signet Jewelers is the parent company. So when we do our searching later on, this is the company name we'll need to use. Here we see a few photos that may indicate their target market. However, we should check the annual report for more information. We can find this by going to the Investors tab along the top of the page. If we scroll down, we can see there is a link for the 2014 annual report. If we click that, we will see that there are going to be a lot more photos as well as some narrative about the company. If we go back to the website, we can also click SEC filings from this tab as well. And this will be where we can find those 10Q reports that we need to give us the sales and profit data. You'll need to find the most recent three years of data and each company will organize their website a little differently. In this case, I can look at previous years simply by using the drop-down here near the center of the page, and I can go to whichever year I need. I'm going to use 2014 for this example. If I scroll down, I can see a, a lot of different reports, and I come across a 10Q report for June 3, 2014. I'm going to click the PDF version. And as I scroll down, I'm going to see a number of different reports here. And what I'm going to want to look for is the income statement or the profit and loss statement, which is this one here. This is the income statement. And I can see sales information as well as net income. So that's how we can use the company's website for public companies to find all of the information you need for that second and third slide. To find financials for private companies, you'll want to try the database Privco. This is linked on your course research guide and from the library's website. We can access the research guide by going to library.uww.edu. Then, if we go to the Guides tab and click Course Guides, this will take us to the page we need for to find your course research guide. As we scroll down, we can go to Marketing and then look for the link for Retail Management. We will find the link to Privco under the Company Information tab. Once in the database, you simply need to type the name of your company into the search box. I'm going to use J.Crew as an example. You can see it will automatically give you what it thinks is the best result. If we click that, it will take us to this company's information. As we scroll down, we'll see some general information about the company, as well as financial statements, including net sales revenue and gross profit back to 1998. To research your specific topic, you'll need to use a different library database. While it would be really nice if you could find everything in one spot, that's not how research works. You'll have to piece together information from a few different places. This slide contains a few suggestions that you may want to write down. One great starting point for your research is Business Source Complete. Some of you may have used this database before. However, you may not have used the Company Information feature. This feature allows you to find relatively detailed company reports. Let's take a look at the database. You can find this linked on the library's website as well as your course research guide. 
You can see again under company information, the business source complete link is in the company resources box. As you're searching this database, it's important that you search for the parent company's name rather than the subsidiary. What I'm going to do is go to the company information tab along the top here. And then in the box, type in Signet Jewelers, because when I went to K Jewelers Investor Relations page, I discovered that Signet is the parent company. When I do my search, I find two results. And it turns out this first one is actually the one I need because I know that the company is headquartered in Bermuda. I can find some basic information about the company here including locations, executives, and more. But to find information related to my specific topic, I can use the links on the left side of the page under related information. A great place to start is the SWOT analysis and any market research reports you see. Then try the links for trade publications, magazines, and newspapers. So if we click on the SWOT analysis, you can see that the most recent one is from January of this year. And we'll have a seven-page report that walks us through the, some of the strengths and weaknesses of this company. So I'm going to go back to our course research guide. Another great resource for finding company information is LexisNexis. Again, you can find this database by going to the library's website or your course research guide. This first link here. And we can search for company information simply by going to the Get Company Info box in the bottom right corner. And again, you'll want to make sure you search for the parent company. I'm going to put in parent Signet Jewelers because they're the parent company. This resource contains some good information on finances, competitors, and more. So if I click on this first one here, the public parent, I can see that I'm getting a lot of information on stock quotes, competition, but there are two sections that are going to be particularly useful to you as you work on this assignment. First, take a look at the analyst reports on the left side of the page. You can see that these are sorted by publication date, so you will see the most recent reports on top. These reports can give you an idea of how a company has been performing and how they are expected to perform in the future. Another useful feature in LexisNexis is the ability to search for news articles. On the left side of the page, you have a few different options. You can limit your search to a specific news publication, or you can limit to a specific topic area. Depending on your topic, this might be a really useful limit. So if we look at that, we can see that there is a marketing and product option there. You can also limit to a specific geographic region. I'm going to take a look at the marketing and product news articles for Signet Jewelers. Once again, it's going to give me the most recent articles on top. We can see that it's sorting by publication date. Note that I do have the option to search within my results under narrow results. This can be a great way to limit to my specific topic area. For example, if I type the word merchandise in here, I now have only things that are related to my specific topic area. However, if you're not finding enough results with this search, you can go back to the LexisNexis homepage and use this search the news option in the bottom left corner. So once again, I'm just going to type Signet Jewelers in. Now this time, it's actually sorting by source order. So you'll want to make sure every time you do a search that this is going from newest to oldest. Things can change very quickly in retail, and so you want to make sure you have the most recent information. 
Also, over on the right side here, we do have the option to search within our results. So once again, we can do a search for the word merchandise and find information just related to our topic. There are a few other resources you can use to complete this assignment. So if we go to the Finding News and Articles tab, one great resource is ABI Informed Complete. This will help you find articles from the Wall Street Journal and other newspapers, as well as trade publications. Trade publications are very specific to a given industry and often contain longer articles about specific companies and trends within the industry. An example of such a publication is Retail Week. Additionally, ABI Inform has a variety of company reports that might be useful to you as well. The library also has a few databases that are intended specifically for finding newspaper articles. The two you might find to be most useful are ProQuest Newsstand and Regional Business News. ProQuest Newsstand will contain lots of major news publications, whereas Regional Business News focuses on smaller, region-specific news publications. The best option for you will depend on the location of your retailer. Let's take a look at one of these databases. I'm going to use ProQuest Newsstand. This database uses the same interface as ABI Inform Complete, so you can search them exactly the same way. ProQuest Newsstand is linked from the, your course research guide under the Finding News and Articles tab. To search the database, we can just put our company in the search box here. And notice that I use quotes around the company's name. This tells the database that I want it to find both of those words next to one another. And it's a really great way to focus your search a little more. To add in any other keywords so that I don't have quite so many results, we can just type the word AND in all caps and whatever other word we want, such as merchandise. Make sure you always pay attention to what order you're getting your results in. So now I only have 68 results, and if I look over here on the right side, I can see that they are sorted by relevance. So if I want the most recent articles on top, I'm going to want to change this to most recent first. And then I can see that I've got some articles from today and a few days ago that relate to Signet Jewelers. Hopefully you feel a little more confident about finding the information you need to complete your assignment. Keep in mind that this project will take you some time, so plan ahead and start early. If you do have questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with your professor or with me. Also remember to use your course research guide to find other resources that can help you complete this assignment. The link can be found at the bottom of this slide. Thanks for watching.